In this lesson, you'll learn how to develop an AI chatbot. The chatbots that sound like computers are often pattern matching or rule-based chatbots. Pattern matching bots match user text to predetermined responses or provide users with a limited range of options to choose from. Within the scale, there are some chatbots that sound very much like humans and others that most certainly sound like computers. In order to answer more unique questions, chatbots need to be powered by artificial intelligence. AI-powered chatbots use machine learning in neural networks to determine the correct response based on previous interactions and context. Rather than creating our own machine learning algorithms, we can take advantage of a chatbot library called Chatterbot. Chatterbot is a Python library that uses machine learning to respond to user input and create dialogue. Chatterbot chatbots start out as untrained and improve their conversational ability after every conversation and user input. To use Chatterbot, we simply need to import the Chatterbot library at the top of our program by writing from Chatterbot, import chatbot. Then we create a chatbot. To create a chatbot, we create a chatbot object. Then we pass the subject that the chatbot is relating to. Here, this chatbot will be about Carol the dog. I'm storing this chatbot in a variable called myChatbot, which I can use to refer to this chatbot later in my program. Once we've created the chatbot, we need to train it with a few sample conversations. Chatterbot has a module called List Trainer that we can use to train a chatbot to respond to conversations. List Trainer can be added to our existing program. To add the List Trainer module, we write from chatterbot.trainers, import List Trainer at the top of our program. Then we're able to create a List Trainer object, which we pass our chatbot variable to and store it in a variable called Trainer. List Trainer takes a list of string responses that form a conversation. Each element in the list represents a piece of dialogue in a conversation. If a user writes any response similar to one of these, the chatbot will respond with the following entry. For example, if the user writes, hello, how are you? The chatbot will respond with the following entry, which is, I'm fine, how are you? Chatbots can respond to a user by calling getResponse on the chatbot. GetResponse takes user input as a parameter and returns a chatbot string response. Let's head over to the lab editor to see this in action. Let's use Chatterbot to build a simple chatbot. To use the Chatterbot library, we first must import it into our program. To create a chatbot, we first create a chatbot object. The chatbot object takes the string with the subject or name of the chatbot. Ours will be about Carol the dog. To reference this object, let's store it in a variable called Carol. That way we can reference it later in our program. Next, we need to train our chatbot using the list trainer module. This will also need to be imported. We then need to create a list trainer object similarly to how we created the chatbot object. We pass our chatbot object to the list trainer object. And let's store our trainer in a variable called trainer. Cool. So now let's create a sample training conversation to train our chatbot. Let's create a list called greeting. In this list, we'll create a sample conversation with different replies between the user and the chatbot. So if the user said, hello, how are you? We can make our chatbot reply with the following. It would reply, I'm fine, how are you? And if the user replied, good, I can't complain. We'll have our chatbot reply, glad to hear it. Using this greetings list, we will now train our trainer. So we'll type trainer.train and we'll pass the greetings list to the train method. Okay, so now let's write a little bit more code to now create our chatbot's conversation. So we'll first write a couple of print statements to welcome the user to the chatbot. So we can write, welcome to Carol chat.
how are you today? After, we'll get a response from the user and we'll store it in a variable called response. Then to have our chatbot respond, we need to call get response on the chatbot. So we write carol.get underscore response. And we pass our response variable, which is storing the user input to the method. To see what the chatbot's response is, we also should store this in a variable. And we'll store it in a variable called carol response. Okay, and let's print it. Great, let's test this chatbot. Okay, it says, welcome to Carol Chat. How are you today? I can write, hello, how are you? The chatbot responds, I'm fine, how are you? Which is the line that follows, how are you? in the greetings list. Great, so it's working as expected. But what if we want the chatbot to run until the user responds with the word exit? We would need to nest our code in a while true loop, which is an infinite loop. How we take our code, and nest it. Then we need to include an if statement in our code to check if the user's response is exit. If so, we will break out of the loop, which will end the conversation. So let's add that logic into our code. So we'll have a if statement. We'll check if the response is equal to exit. And if this is true, it should break out of the while loop. We should also include a goodbye message or a conversation terminated message to indicate that the conversation has ended. So let's include a print statement outside of the while loop. Let's also add another instruction line to instruct the user to type exit to stop chatting. Okay, let's rerun our chatbot to see how this works. Okay, so now it says, welcome to Carol Chat. To exit, please type exit. How are you today? So I can say, hello, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? And I'll write the next line in our conversation. So, good, I can't complain. And the chatbot replied, glad to hear it. Now I wanna exit the conversation, so I'm gonna say exit, and it says conversation terminated. Now it's your turn to explore this example. Happy chatting.